Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and today we have a guest that has the full diva package. A former pro and Halsey's favorite cosplayer, McGravy. Hey guys, I'm McGravy and if you don't know me, I am a former professional off-tank player who played for the LA Valiant and Florida Mayhem in the Overwatch League. And now I just stream over at twitch.tv slash McGravy. So let's quickly start off with the diva general tip. Defense matrix is not the only way to avoid taking damage. Try using your matrix in large open spaces and then use whatever cover you have to hide and charge up your matrix. If you find yourself out of matrix but need to save a teammate, don't be afraid to jump in there. Turn your back to avoid headshots and body block the damage. And with that out of the way, let's get started. You're not typically going to be 1v1ing a D.Va in most cases, but ensuring that you matrix your micro missiles will keep you healthier and allow you to keep high ground control and space for your team. Another easy way to kill D.Va players is to follow the baby D.Va as she's falling after using her D.Va bomb. Arissa falls into the category of must-eat abilities with her pull. Most must-eat abilities have a key sound cue that will help you know when that ability is being used. Arissa's pull is a slow but very powerful ability, so actively keeping an eye on it is key. When you know Arissa has supercharger, position yourself on a side angle or high ground and get behind the shield and shoot the supercharger. Similar to Arissa, Ryan is a shield hero that excels when damage is all coming from one angle. Utilize your mobility and shoot the Ryan from the back whenever possible. It will make him hesitant to take space and swing his hammer. When throwing D.Va bombs at Ryan, try and throw it so it's either right above or slightly behind him. This will force him to turn his shield upwards or turn around, giving your team an opportunity to kill him. Everyone knows the Matrix the follow-up shot after Roadhog's hooks, but another very easy way to deny Roadhog from getting hook kills is to boop him with your boosters while he's hooking. When he's ulting, it is very slow and he can't use take a breather since he's locked in the animation. Use this opportunity to throw a bomb at him and secure an easy kill. A simple but very underrated tip is that since Sigma had his shield cooldown chain from one second to two, most Sigmas leave their shields out for longer now. Simply using your missiles and shooting the shield whenever possible gets a lot of value. Most Sigmas, when they use their ults, they have a habit of flying very high into the sky. On maps where it's suitable, you can easily diva bomb the Sigma out of the sky with your bomb. Winston and Diva's movement cooldowns are very similar, but Diva is much stronger in the 1v1 because of the shotguns. You should constantly be moving around the map and denying the Winston from taking space. You can also use your booster jet to boop every engagement jump. When Wrecking Ball is looking for an engagement, fly up in the air to boop the ball out of his initial power drive location, which can cause him to miss completely. Every D.Va wants to eat a Zarya grab, so here's how I do it with a high degree of success. Hey, grab. Simply play out of the Zarya's line of sight when you know she has grab. If the Zarya can't see your actual model, she will be encouraged to find a way to use her grab, and that's when you pop out and flash your matrix. If you are in the line of sight of the Zarya, try using your full two seconds of matrix, but halfway through the cast, look down or away to pull the matrix into the wall or floor, then quickly bring it back. The Zarya will see the matrix get off her screen, thinking you deactivated it, and will think she's free to grab. But, Ash's Dynamite is another ability that falls into the must matrix category. Listen to the sound cue, and when you go to matrix the dynamite, wiggle it a little bit. Ash's dynamite hitbox is very weird, so wiggling your crosshair slightly will improve your success rate on matrixing it. When Ash uses Bob, sometimes I like to walk into the Bob so he collides and stops, then I'll fly away. This prevents Bob from reaching strong positions and protects my backline from his line of sight. When Bastion is in his ultimate form, players will often shoot once, use a shot to rocket jump, then shoot again. Cycle your matrix between each of these shot windows. When Doomfist is looking to uppercut combo one of your squishy teammates, fly into him, matrix his bullets, and boop him out of his combo. D.Va is one of the best characters to limit Echo's effectiveness in the game. Echo's sticky bombs are in the must matrix category for me, so listen to the sound cue and really focus on eating those because it denies a lot of her burst damage potential. On maps with low skyboxes such as Anubis or King's Row, position yourself on high grounds and monitor her flight usage. Once she starts floating to the ground, she is a very easy target to burst out of the sky. Just outright booping Genji blades nowadays is less effective. Instead, try saving your D.Va bombs for his blades. When he dashes in, boop him backwards and then fly straight up and release a bomb. This will zone him from the area where he wants to use his blade. 
Hanzo is a pretty immobile character when he's out in the open space. If there are no walls for the Hanzo to climb, it is very easy to just fly onto him and burst him down. To engage, you can fly towards him and do a little wiggle to minimize the chance of him hitting the first charge headshot. I'm usually not wasting my matrix as I'm flying to him since he's really only going to get one solid charged arrow. If he tries charging a second arrow, it lowers his movement speed and he'll just die from my burst. It's much more important to use matrix to eat his storm arrows, which will likely come after that first shot. Once it comes, use your missiles and hold your matrix to eat as many of the storm arrows as you can. Junkrat's ultimate lets out a very loud voice line when he ults to indicate where the tire is coming from. When you are close to where he is tiring, use your mobility to your advantage and find where he is hiding and secure that free kill. Other than that, just look to eat some of his grenade damage wherever possible, including his passive if he dies. Since his health and roll buff, McCree players love to flank, but it is very hard to kill him solo. Always keep an eye out for where the McCree player is, and if you can't see him, check the flanks. You won't be able to outright kill him, but forcing him back is good enough. When he uses Deadeye, wait a second or two, then hold your Matrix out for the entire duration and pray your entire team uses the opportunity to get out of line of sight. If they die, well, not much you can do about that. May players will try to freeze you before throwing down their Blizzard to ensure it doesn't get eaten. If you notice you're getting slowed, fly away briefly, but don't be afraid to turn back around and hold Matrix on her. You'd be surprised at the amount of Maze who think you're fully retreating and go for a Blizzard, in which case you can now eat. When Farah uses her Jump Jet and Concussion Blast at the same time to get high in the air, this is the perfect time to throw a bomb and catch her out in the air for a quick kill since she has no more movement abilities. There's a chance you can get a Mercy as well. If she uses Barrage, use up all your Matrix and just before it runs out, fly into her so that she eliminates herself from the splash damage off your mech. Generally versus most heroes, I would advise flicking your matrix on and off, but versus Reaper, the best thing you can do is use all of your matrix to completely seal off Reaper's self-sustain so you can force his wraith or kill him outright. Soldier is a very high ground oriented hero. Use your boosters to boop him off the high ground. If he puts down his biotic field, just don't bother. Matrix stalled to get out of line of sight and wait it out since he's almost impossible to burst down when it's up. Always have your guns firing and spy check the Sombra to try and break her out of invisibility. Another small tip is, if you see Sombra's locator at a distance, use your micro missiles and kill it and communicate that you broke the locator to your team. Sit in key locations where Sim might want to teleport and burst the teleporter down quickly with your missiles. If they make it through the teleporter before you can break it, quickly use your boop to disorient them or even knock them off the high ground. Diva is a close range hero with heavy fall off on her shotgun damage, but her micro missiles have no fall off. Use your missiles to poke out the torp turret before the fight begins. Against Tracer, try to cycle your matrix between her shots and reloads. It won't be perfect, but it will minimize a lot of her damage. Try saving your micro missiles until after Tracer has recall and fly into her and do as much burst damage as she comes out of recall. If you time it right, you can nearly kill her in one shot. Alternatively, if you're ever out of mech and see a Tracer Recall, you can predict where she's going to end up and get the new cheeky remake kill. On wide open maps like Junkertown First or Ilios Ruins, fly straight into the air and scout where the Widow is playing and relay that info to your team. When engaging on a sniper or really any hero that does high headshot burst damage, try turning your back frequently so they can't hit your head. She's really squishy now and should die very quickly. Diving Anna is all about patience. Try not to blow any of your cooldowns until the Anna is half or nearly half. Then swoop in and hold your matrix and missiles and the Anna will be forced to nade into your matrix. You can also look to hold your matrix against low HP enemies to prevent Anna from healing them. Immortality Field is one of the strongest abilities in the game. Be very aggressive onto Baptiste and try and force him to lamp himself and not his team. Similar to Anna, you can hold your Matrix over enemies in hopes of eating some of the Baptiste healing grenades. I don't have any awe-inspiring tips to play against Brig. Just don't be overly aggressive and get Bash out of your boosters. Take your time and focus down her shield. If you allow her to Bash you and trigger Inspire multiple times, you stand no chance of killing her. When playing against Lucios, one big tip to follow is to not end your booster jets near ledges, because aggressive Lucios will find a way to boop you off the map before your boosters come back up. Other than that, don't waste your time focusing him. He's a very low priority target unless he's absolutely caught out. Mercy can self-regen her own health when she doesn't take damage, but if she takes even one tick of damage, the healing stops. 
Poke her from afar to stop the regen and boost in to close the distance and finish her off. If she goes for a res within your booster jet range, you can try to boop her out of her res. When Moira pops her coalescence, she can no longer use her fade ability. So if she is out in the open, use this chance to bomb her for a high value kill. Other than that, matrix every single orb you see from her to minimize her value. Zen is one of the few heroes in the game that has no way to make himself faster besides his ult. Try and aggressively bomb him whenever you can. You can easily get kills or force him to use his ult. Both are good outcomes. If Zen is playing long distances and you see him in the secondary fire charge animation, you can time his peak and eat his orbs to make sure no one on your team gets picked. And that's it for the Diva Tips. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for having me, Karkyu. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash McGravy.